one of the really cool things about traveling in Israel, if you, uh, if you avail yourself of this mode of transport, is what's called the Monit Shirut, which literally translated means the service taxi. And it's a cross between a bus and a taxi. It's a, it's, it's a minibus taxi. So the way it works is the minibus taxis run on uh, set routes. Although if you ask the driver, he can deviate from the route if he gets to the end of this and anyone else and he'll do you a favor and kind of pull into your neighborhood and stuff like that. But generally speaking, the minibus taxis are, are similar to buses in that they run along set routes, but they are different from buses in that they, uh, they, they basically just run ad hoc. And, it's, and the, the frequency of the minibus taxis has a lot to do with the, mini, with the uh, drivers or the, or the company's uh, estimate of demand. So when, there's, so when it's very busy, you have these little minibuses just going up and down, you know, like every two minutes. It's, it's quite fantastic. And so, so let, me, let me try to explain to you. You'll stand somewhere, you know, you don't even have to stand at a, at a particular stop. You just have to stand on, on some point on the road that the, the, the minibus taxi travels along. You stand there on the, on the footpath, or the pavement, and when you see it along, you just, you know, you wave, you let, you let the driver know that you want to get on. If he has space, he will just stop uh, in the middle of the road, <laughs> uh, just, you know, just pull over, uh, traffic be damned. And the door uh, is attached to a lever that is accessible, that is, that is immediately to hand for the driver. So the driver just pulls no lever, the door opens, you hop in, and you find a seat. And uh, most of the times you'll go towards the back of the minibus and there are, you have a little aisle and you have a couple seats alongside and then you've got the back seat which has four spaces. So you, let's say you go to the very back of the seat, to the very back of the minibus. Um, and what you do is if you don't know the price, you shout from the back to the driver, driver, how much does this ride cost? And he'll say seven shekels, 15 shekels, 22 shekels, whatever it may be. So what you do then is you take uh, out the whatever sum of money. If you have exact change, great. If not, you take out, let's say it's, let's say it's 22. It's on um, uh, the eve of, uh, uh, at the end of Sabbath or moving into Sabbath, so it's a bit more expensive. So let's say 22. And you've got a 50 shekel note. So what you do is, you sit at, you don't go to the driver because he's driving and the minibuses are, will, are liable to turn violently at, or shift lanes. So you don't want to really, you don't want to be standing when they're moving because otherwise you're going to get thrown around like a ping pong ball. So from your seat at the back, you tap the person in front of you on the shoulder. The person will turn around. You place the money in his hand. He'll then tap the person in front of him and the money will be passed along to the driver who gets tapped on his shoulder and he'll hold his hand out like this. You, the person will deposit the money in the driver's hand and while the driver is driving and talking on his mobile phone and whatever else he's doing, he's got a little coin dispenser and, uh, and, a, and, a, and a kitty with notes and he'll just, as he's doing all this multitasking, he'll calculate the change, check, 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 give you your change, give you your change, and then pass the money to the person directly behind him, who will then pass it along until it gets back to you. And, you know, if, if half a dozen people get on the minibus at the same time, they will pay in this manner, and the drivers are really, really good in, at, at calculating change no matter what you give them, and, uh, and driving, and talking on the intercom or on their mobile phones or just holding a loud conversation with the, one of the other passengers in the minibus taxi. And it's great. It's a really cool way to travel. Um, it's, it's fun. And you don't really get to chat with people in the minibus taxi because there's something about that space that's not really conducive to talking to strangers. But it's, it's a very a convenient way of getting around and it's a lot cheaper than taking a taxi and it's a lot more convenient than uh, taking a bus.